Welcome to another transformation video. In this uh, video, we are going to be working on this French Provincial Buffet. It will be quite a simple transformation because this buffet is in great shape and we're using an all-in-one paint. So I thought maybe I can take this opportunity and talk to you about some of the simpler flips and starting out and what you should be thinking about when starting to flip furniture, how to make it easy on yourself. It's uh, some of the topics that we talk about when I do some of my workshops on uh, furniture painting. And the first piece of advice that I can give you is find something that is popular in your area. For me, the MCM pieces as well as these French Provincials are quite popular and I do work on them a lot. Another thing you should really consider is find a piece that needs a very little repair almost none this is great for getting started there won't be any extra work also don't create work for yourself I think that a lot of the videos that even I make are more complicated I, we cut up pieces we fix pieces but it can be simple just keep it simple find a piece without a lot of repair also find a piece that you can keep the hardware that way you're saving on costs and you're saving on work Another important thing is uh, find a piece that you like as is, that you don't actually have to change, that you don't have to add legs to or change the base. Just keep it simple, a simple shape. Also, find a piece that you don't have to strip or sand, just prep, just clean up, scuff sand and go. And I think what's also important is to find good basic supplies. For example, the, the cleaner that you saw me uh, use, the Green Easy, it's great. It will uh, degloss, degrease your piece, and it will remove quite a bit of uh, dust and grime and all of the things that get on furniture throughout the years. So never skimp out on your prep. Good sandpaper, good paint, good brushes, and uh, invest in those to get started so that uh, you have the good supplies. Also take your time and really, really do the prep. Don't skimp out. Don't forget to clean the piece. Don't forget to scuff sand it. If you need to prime it, prime it. But um, don't, uh, don't skip out on those steps, especially if you're selling the piece. You want to make sure that your work is quality and that you have satisfied customers. You don't want them to come back to you a few months later or complain to someone else that the pieces have scuffed and have started to scratch off. The paint should not be coming off. And that leads me to my next point, which is use good quality paint. The simplest that you can do is use an all-in-one paint like this white uh, out one hour enamel that I use quite a bit in my videos. Mainly because it's easy, it's a satin finish, it doesn't need a top coat, it has great adherence, it has great durability, it self-levels really well, I like my pieces to, pieces not to look painted and that's why I really like the one hour enamel because I don't have to spray them especially in the cold winter time and get a really quality smooth finish. I don't even need to top coat them unl unless they are a high use piece like a tabletop or something like that. So it's really investing in really good quality paint and products. As always, I have listed all of the supplies that I use in the description with uh, links. A lot of them are from my website, doveandarrowshop.com. We do ship to Canada and the US, and I have left a little coupon code for you in the description that you can apply towards your first purchase. And if you found this video useful and you like the content, please, please consider subscribing. I love how uh, this uh, channel has grown over the last couple of months that I started it. And uh, make sure that you like and uh, subscribe. But also do leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. What type of techniques, what kind of paints, and so forth.
Thank you for coming along and watching me refinish this piece. It was a easy flip. It didn't take too long. And let's remember what it looked like originally. It was just a simple French provincial buffet that just needed a facelift. And all we did was paint it and uh, update the hardware with a soft brass. And that was it. Easy peasy. There was no tools involved. Just kept it simple. And now it's ready for its new home. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, would you have painted a different color? Would you have done something different? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.